Hey there everyone, I'm Michelle Pekansky Brock and there have been a lot of changes recently on Google Plus with regards to how to start Hangouts. Now I myself do a lot of Hangouts on air. Um, I don't do a whole lot of Hangouts and you might be asking yourself, well, what is the difference? And maybe that's one of the reasons why you don't use Hangouts is because you don't really understand the difference between the two. So let me clarify that to start out. A Hangout on Air is um, a video conversation on Google Plus between yourself and up to nine different people, so a total of 10 people, that integrates directly with your YouTube account if you're the person launching the Hangout on Air. When you do a Hangout on Air, it automatically streams to YouTube and it's automatically archived. And that conversation is live when it's being streamed to YouTube. The really cool part is that you have the archive, um, but it is something that is live and it doesn't mean that anyone can jump in and join. You still limit who can join in the actual video conversation, but it does mean that it is actually streamed publicly and other people can view it because of that YouTube integration. Now a hangout without the on-air part, just a plain hangout, is um, a video conversation. It's, you can kind of correlate it more like with a, you know, just a web conference. So maybe um, a video Skype with you and, and, and some, some folks that you're connected to on Skype. Um, and there is no connection to YouTube. So it's something that does not actually get archived and it's not something that's going to be public. So the, um, the demo that I have here is how to start a Hangout. Not a Hangout on air, it's just the Hangout. It, it was a little confusing to me about how to get people to join these Hangouts previously. Um, the process itself, using once you're all in the Hangout, it's, it's great, but I've had some challenges getting people to actually figure out how to join my Hangouts. Um, so I have a really simple way that I've learned from some other great people that share on Google+. Um, and so I want to share this with you and it's, it's, it's really great if you're a teacher to, do, to use um, this method of, of joining that I'm about to show you. So if you, um, if you want to start a Hangout, this is how I would recommend that you do it. First of all, go to any page in Google+. Okay, And then what you want to do is... Over in the left side, um, you'll place your mouse, hover your mouse over on the left upper left corner, and once you do that, this drop-down menu will appear. And when that drop-down menu appears, all you want to do is select Hangouts. And when you click there, this page is going to pop up. And then go ahead and click on Video Hangouts. Um, I, should have, I should have noted this. You'll see there that there's a difference between video hangouts and hangouts on air. Okay, so that's where the, the two, the separation starts. So then you're in the video hangouts area, and you're going to want to go ahead and start, um, click on start a video hangout. Okay, so click that button right there. The Hangout is going to initiate, all right? So you're going to actually see your video, your webcam will pop up in the background, and this white box will pop up in the foreground. Now, you're going to have an option here to send out invitations. You could do that if you want, and that's going to start sending out invitations to people on Google+. Plus. Um, Sometimes that confuses people. Sometimes you might think, well, I don't know if those people are in my circle. That's where things get a little bit murky for some people, especially if you're teaching and you don't have that kind of association connected with your students, right? Because that's a lot of times teachers think, well, I can't use that Google Hangouts because I don't have all my students in my circles. Well, hang on. There is a way. So go ahead here and just click cancel to get rid of that box. And then what's going to happen is the Hangout window will open up and you're going to be the only one in it. And it's going to say, no one has been invited to this video call. So it's basically just a Hangout and you're sitting in there all by yourself looking really lonely like I'm looking down here. But here's what you do. You copy this entire URL in this box here at the top. You want to copy that whole entire thing. Okay, copy it to your clipboard. And then what you can do is open up an email and email it to the people who you want to join. So you can say, okay, I'm waiting for you in the Hangout. 
they're going to get the email with the link in it. They'll click on the link. When they click on the link, they're going to actually, they'll either they'll have to go log into Google Plus and then they'll just basically be taken right into the Hangout. Or if they're already uh, logged into Google Plus, they'll go straight into the Hangout. Alternatively, if you're going to be using Google Plus for something like office hours or a group study area um, for, your, for your students, you could take that link and put it in your um, LMS and just put it in your announcements area or somewhere where it makes sense for your students where they know to look for it at your scheduled hangout time. And then they can click on the link and the same thing will happen. They'll just basically log into Google Plus and join you in the hangout. Now it is worth noting, um, I would recommend that you alert people that they will need a webcam and a good, steady internet connection. A hardwire connection is best, but it's not required, um, but it is best. And um, if they don't have a webcam, they can still join with a microphone. That's something that I do like to let people know. Um, and if it's their first Hangout, they will be prompted to download a, a plug-in first, which will take some extra time. Um, but other than that, it should work pretty good as long as your browser is updated. So that's it. I hope you find that helpful.